How to Create Presets in SimNet Composer Software SimNet Composer Open Architecture Software makes creating presets quick and easy. Presets allow for triggering a parameter or a group of parameters to a previously saved state. Once saved, presets can be viewed, renamed, trimmed down, and recalled from the Preset Manager found under the Tools drop-down menu. There are several options for saving parameters to presets in SimNet Composer software. A single parameter, a group of controls, or an entire module's current state can be stored to a preset with only two clicks of the mouse. Simply open any Composer software site file design. Double-click on the preferred DSP to open its design view. The site file design will need to contain modules or parameters to save to a preset for this exercise. To store a single parameter to a preset, open the desired module's user interface by double-clicking on the module icon. Right-click on the specific parameter you wish to store to the preset. In this example, a Mono Mono Mixer's Master Fader is used, and choose Store Master Fader Settings in Preset. There are 1,000 preset locations available. Choose the preset location where you wish to store the current state of the selected parameter and click on it. The single parameter is now stored to that preset location. To store a group of controls to a preset, open the desired module's user interface by double-clicking on the module icon. Right-click within the group of controls you wish to store to the preset without actually clicking on a specific control. In this example, the Mono Mono Mixer's Channel 1 controls are selected. This is confirmed by the gray box surrounding the Channel 1 controls and the Store Preset text, which reads, Store Channel 1 Control Settings to Preset. Choose the preset location where you wish to store the current state of the selected group of controls to and click on it. The group of controls is now stored to that preset location. There are two methods for storing an entire module's settings to a preset. The first method is done from the user interface. Once again, open the desired module's user interface by double-clicking on the module icon. Right-click a gray area that is not part of a group of controls. The gray area near the border of the module typically selects the entire module. Next, select Store Module Settings in Preset. Choose the preset location where you wish to store the current state of the selected module settings to and click on it. The entire module settings are now stored to that preset location. Additionally, an alternative method for storing an entire module settings to a preset is by right-clicking on the desired module in the signal path and selecting the Store Module Settings in Preset option. Once again, choose the preset location where you wish to store the current state of the selected module settings to and click on it. The entire module settings are now stored to that preset location. Once presets are created, they can be recalled, renamed, duplicated, combined, trimmed down, or assigned to an ARC remote control from the Presets Manager located under the Tools drop-down. In this example, we will rename the presets. To do this, go to Tools, Presets Manager, highlight a preset and click the Rename button. Label the preset as desired. Click OK. When finished, hit the Done button to close the Presets Manager window. Have questions? Email our technical sales and support staff for assistance with troubleshooting, design reviews, commissioning, and warranty support directly at support at symmetrics.co. More information on Symmetrics' complete line of DSP solutions can be found at symmetrics.co.